Some might say that I'm a loner But I just call it being free I am my heart's only owner Cause now a wildfire is raging deep inside And my horn strings are... Hey everyone, I'm Calvin with Southern Country Living. I hope everyone's having a great day. We appreciate you taking time to watch this video today. Uh, for today's meal, I'm going to be preparing uh, a recipe that one of our friends made last week and she told me that it was very delicious and all the ingredients looks like something that we would really enjoy it's going to be easy to make not very expensive and i think it's going to be delicious uh, we're going to call it cabbage noodles and sausage and so uh, to get started with it now i will put the full recipe in the description below but we're going to start with eight ounces of uh, egg noodles and I've already got the water boiling over here so let me put these noodles in and this is a, a 16 ounce bag of egg noodles so I'm going to put a hype this bag in there Okay, that should be about half that bag. Let those get started cooking. Put this out of the way for a few minutes. Next thing I'm gonna do is uh, start heating up my olive oil. I'm gonna put one tablespoon of olive oil in our skillet here. And let this start heating up. And while it's heating, I'm going to be cutting up my sausage and I'm going to be using the Eckridge Skinless Smoked Sausage and this is our favorite sausage I've been using this for years and if we can get it this is the one we want to get okay if I can get open here <laughs> like how it says on the bag easy open and I can't even get it started okay So on my sausage, you can either cut it in little rounds like that, or you can cut it long ways. For today, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it in rounds. got those cut uh, they're about maybe uh, almost a half inch thick anywhere from a quarter to a half inch thick let's see how my oil's doing here
Okay, the oil's probably not quite hot enough, but I'm going to go ahead and add these to it and let them start cooking. And on this first step here, we're just going to let these brown uh, on both sides. So while they're starting to brown, I'm going to go ahead and cut up my onion. And we'll be using one whole yellow onion. Okay, my sausages are just now starting to heat up, so we're going to give them maybe three or four minutes to start browning. Okay, the sausage is heating up good and uh, it's really starting to smell great. I love how the sausage smells when it's cooking. Okay, I'll go ahead and get it brown just a little more. Okay, and so I'll go ahead and cut up some cabbage while I'm waiting on that. I've already got the cabbage washed and we're not going to use a lot of cabbage. I think that'll be enough cabbage right there. I think the recipe calls for about four cups, and that should be enough. I'm check on my noodles over here. They're almost done. They like three more minutes. Okay, see how the sausage is starting to brown like that one right there? You sort of want to get your sausage to start browning like that. 
uh, not completely burned, but you know, good and brown. Okay, now this is just about where I want my sausage to be. So now I'm going to go ahead and add another tablespoon of olive oil. And I'm going to also add a fourth of a cup of butter. And I'll just drop it in here and let it start melting. Uh, my noodles are done, so let me go ahead and turn them off, and I'll drain those out in just a minute. Now I'm going to put some uh, minced garlic in here, and I think I'm going to put about maybe two teaspoons full here, maybe a little more. That should be enough. And I'm going to go ahead and put the onion in. This is one whole onion that I've chopped up. So let me give this a good stir. And this is going to sit here and simmer for maybe about three to five minutes. I want to let these onions get good and soft and tender before we add the cabbage to it. So we'll let that be getting tender. I'll be back with you in just a few minutes here. Okay, my onions are good and tender now. And man, this is smelling good. I love it. Okay, next step, I'm going to add the cabbage to it. Looks like a lot of cabbage, but the cabbage should cook down a pretty good bit. So we're going to let this cook for about 10 minutes, and then I'm going to add the green peas and the corn to it. So just a few minutes of cooking the cabbage, and then we'll be back with you. Okay, everyone, I'm back. I did cover this with the lid and basically let it steam. Let me cut that timer off. Okay, so I did go ahead and let it steam and cook for uh, 15 minutes instead of just 10 because I wanted to be sure this cabbage was good and tender. And it looks great right now and smells fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and add some seasoning to it before I put the other ingredients. I'm going to put some salt. Uh, not a whole lot, just going to sprinkle some salt on it. And then I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of black pepper. And you can just do this as much as you want. And then I'm going to add just a touch of uh, crushed red peppers just give it a little kick okay. next I'm going to add the noodles to it
Okay, and I'm going to steer it a little bit. Now I'm going to add the uh, sweet peas, the little green peas. And this is three-fourths of a cup. And then I said three-fourths, but I believe it was two-thirds of a cup. And then I'm going to add corn, about the same amount of corn. And this was frozen corn and frozen peas. Let me steer these in a little bit. Okay, and then next, the recipe don't actually call for the tomatoes. But I thought it would be real good to put some diced tomatoes on top of it. So I'm just going to go ahead and mix these in. And I did drain the juice off so it's not too much juice in it. And we like to use the diced tomatoes that has basil, garlic, and oregano. Okay, so let me steer this in. Okay, and basically that's all there is to it right there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cover it with the lid and I'm going to let it continue to cook for about two more minutes, uh, just long enough to get all the uh, corn and peas good and hot. So I'll be back with you in about two minutes. Okay, I'm back. This has been heating up for a couple of minutes. Turn the timer off. And I'm going to give it one final stir. I'm not sure how good the overhead camera is picking this up, but it really looks good. And to be honest with you, it made a lot more than I thought it was going to make. Uh, for me and Marie, this will be two full meals, and we'll probably still have some left over. I think Cynthia is going to be coming over today. So we'll let her share some of it with us too. Okay, let me get some out and get it all turned off here. Sort of quick cooking. Okay, I'm gonna make that plate sort of small. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I'm going to make it sort of small. Okay, so there's my plate. And I'll let this one be for Marie. I'm going to set this over here off the heat. So it won't continue to cook, and I'll put the lid on it to keep it warm. Okay, it may be a little too hot to do a taste test, but I'm going to try a real quick taste test on it. This is good and tasty. I'm going to have to add one thing to it. It needs just a little more salt. And if you don't like a lot of salt, you probably won't need it. But I do like a lot of salt. Two thumbs up. Very good. Okay, this is going to be Marie's plate. Uh, Marie didn't feel like being on camera today, so I'm going to take this over real quick and let her get a taste test of it, and I'll come back and let you know what she says. Uh, Marie, uh, here's your 
here's your plate. I'm going to let you do a taste test. Okay, I'm back. Uh, Marie really enjoyed it. And she said it don't need any salt to her. It tastes perfect. And so, uh, like I said, I like a lot of salt in mine. So I'm sure I'll put just a little extra salt on top of it. But uh, I think this is going to be a meal that we're going to enjoy. And uh, I give a special thanks to our friend Jennifer. Uh, she just lives about two or three miles from here. And we've known her ever since she was a little girl. She's friends with uh, Cynthia. And uh, she used to live across the street from us. So we've known her for a lot of years. And uh, she's a good southern cook uh, like Marie is. And so a lot of her recipes we tend to like. Don't know if you remember, but back about a few months ago, we did a recipe called the uh, Swamp Soup. And that was the recipe that I got from Jennifer also. But this is very delicious. We're going to enjoy it. Uh, I think if I was making it again for just me and Marie, I might cut the recipe in half and just make half of it because it does make quite a bit. And that's going to be enough to, we'll probably be able to eat that three full meals at least. But I think we're going to enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. We appreciate you uh, giving us a thumbs up and leaving comments. That means a lot to us. So I'm going to close it like Marie would close. Y'all do what you love and love what you do. And we'll see you on our next video. Bye. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here 